There's one more verse left in the Gospel of John. And with this Gospel reading, we can, we're concluding the, the Easter season because we celebrate Pentecost tomorrow. And even though the Easter season is ending, a number of things continue to, to, to happen. Paul is in Rome and he's in prison. But in spite of the adversity that he's experienced, he's continuing to teach and to accept, bring people to him. And eventually we know that he will die a martyr's death. But we also know that in spite of the fact that he is being persecuted and unjustly uh, accused of, of heresy by his fellow Jewish people, the small group of Jewish people, he continues to proclaim the risen Lord. And he prays for the people who are persecuting them. He does not condemn them, but he knows that their faith is not his faith and his faith is not their faith but he was hoping to bring unity, but he knows that that's maybe not his, his role. Today, we, as I said, we're finishing the Gospel of John. There's one, one more verse after this. But the whole idea is, is that it doesn't end here. Maybe the Easter season ends, but each of us is called to carry on the message that was proclaimed of the risen Lord in our lives. And sometimes that's not difficult, that is not easy because People will be persecuted because of their faith. People will not understand. People will not believe. What we are called to do is be a patient uh, people who pray for all God's children. Because I remember, as I've said many times, no matter what faith we are, we are all God's children, and we are all loved by God. So we should treat every human being with love and respect. So as we conclude the, the Easter season, we, bring, we go forth from this church to continue to spread the good news of the risen Lord and pray that all people might be at peace and that we all will be one someday and know that the Lord is with us no matter what.